Hello and welcome to Manga Tour 96 and today we're going to talk about Classroom of the Elite. Today's topic will be the three idiots of class D. Although they all group together like this, it must be said that two of them have some good qualities that make up for their idiotic behavior, however the last one doesn't have anything resembling good qualities and he's truly the most worthless one out of the whole class. I'm of course talking about Ken Sudo, Kanji Ike and Haruki Yamauchi. But before we start, here's the spoiler warning, I will be spoiling a lot of things in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would highly recommend that you go and read the light novel, as it is an enjoyable read. For everyone else, let's start with who Ken is. Ken Sudo is a student of class 2D and a member of the basketball club. Due to his poor academic ability, he is referred to as one of the three idiots of D class. Regardless of this, his athletic ability is without a doubt one of the best among the school. He puts very little effort into his studies, which grants him the nickname with the two other classmates, the three idiots of D class. He is always seen to sleep in class and also once refused to join Susan's study group for the sake of his grade. He is known to be hot tempered and quick to anger when people do what he deems to be pointless or insulting to him, showing how easily provoked he can be. When others attempted to help by stopping him, he exclaimed how he doesn't need their help and will get angry at the person who he deems is underestimating him. Despite his perceived eagerness for a fight, he is shown to get easily scared whenever he is overpowered as shown in his confrontation with Kakeru Ryuen. Ken enjoys basketball and wants to go pro and is very committed to his dream as he became worried when Susan mentioned he might not be able to play if he were to be expelled from this school. During the cruise in episode 8, he quickly asks Kyutaka about Susan's first name and after being told, he got excited. He blushed while saying her name repeatedly, showing that he has developed romantic feelings and a crush on her, despite the previous hostile interaction. He is known for having a hot-headed temper and anger issue which had gotten him in a bad situation and earned him several enemies, where he has managed to earn some friends in the course of his school life. After his past, Ken's mother, who worked in the entertainment business, left him while his father spent every day living somberly as a mere janitor. He gave up on his studies and decided to enter the world of sports. Then he first encountered with basketball. Normally, he disliked playing with others as a team, but miraculously he was able to make it work and his skill with the sport increased. He then got a recommendation for the high school with one of the best basketball teams in the country where he got entangled in violent activities and his application was rejected. Ken then enrolled at the Advanced Nutri High School, a place where he wouldn't have to pay money for education and a dream school where his future could be guaranteed. After his relationship with Kiyotaka, in the light novels they are shown to be on good terms and appear to be close friends in fact. Much later Ken was shocked to see some of Kiyotaka's talents at the sports festival and was dismayed at Kiyotaka's new popularity among the girls. Unlike Ike and Yamauchi, who are just jealous and feel an inferiority complex to Kiyotaka, Ken is still hanging around with him despite his new popularity with the girls of their class. As for his relationship with Suzune, they have a rocky standing duo to Suzune's habit of speaking her mind, not being afraid to hurt people's feelings with blunt words which only serves to provoke Ken's quick violent temper. In episode 2, she implored Kiyotaka to convince Ken to join her study group but he refused and goes to the basketball practice. She was not done with him as she personally goes down there and makes him think about his athletic career and how it will be at stake if he were to be expelled which persuaded him to go study. However, Susan's blunt personality got the better of him and he voiced that he didn't join just to be insulted but she wasn't bothered. He even grabbed her shirt and was willing to get physical but she was unfazed. When Kikyu gave Aaron all text exam to help Aaron, they all got passing scores except Ken. In episode 3, because of his failure, Ken was nearly expelled from the school, but this action was stopped when unknown to him, Susan and Kyotaka sacrificed some of their points to stop it with the teacher accepting. The two later attended at a celebration party at Kyotaka's room, which was attended by several other classmates as well. When Kikyu hinted that Kyotaka helped Ken out, the latter and the others stopped their activities and looked to see if it was true, but he cast the credit to Suzune. I started that Suzune was barely able to explain to a curious Ken that she did it for her own benefit. 
In episode 5, she helps him in a case to prove his innocence after he is accused of fighting three students. Initially, she struggles to say anything due to her brother's presence, but with the help of Kiyotaka, she was able to speak on Ken's behalf. She began her speech with criticism of his character, which angered him at first, but she stated that he was not at fault for this incident to his shock. Ken watched as Susana used her charismatic words to bring evidence that he was not at fault first by pointing out holes in C-class story and by bringing in Irish Sakura who had pictures on the incident. When those representing C-class protested, she stated she would not accept any compromises and wanted to dismiss the accusation towards Ken who sat staring in admiration of her abilities. During the cruise in episode 8, he quickly asked Yotaka over Susan's first name and after being told he got excited. He started blushing while seeing her name repeatedly, showing that he has developed romantic feelings and a crush on her in spite of the previous hostile interaction but is clearly one-sided. He is jealous of Kiyotaka for his close proximity and relationship with Suzanne and deems him as a threat towards his end goal. He works hard for her to get to acknowledge him, but Suzanne still doesn't see him as anything more than the other classmate that needs plenty of help, unlike Kiyotaka who she fully trusts. Moving on to Ike. Kanji Ike is one of the students of class 1D who is known as one of the three idiots of D class. While his intelligence is poor, his communication skills are excellent. Kanji is one of commonly known as the three idiots of D-Class. This was further proven true when he, like many of his classmates, irresponsibly blew through his pride points in a matter of a week on materialistic and unnecessary things like video games. He also possesses a perverted side to him as he was easily attracted to Kikyo because of her alluring appearance. This is further extended to him as he once actively participated in a plan to peep on the girls at the pool. He was even excited just by being on a first name basis with Kushida. However, in spite of all of his idiocy and negative traits, on a positive note, he has experience in camping and used this to give his class an advantage in the school survival test. He has been shown to be willing to acknowledge his faults such as when he apologizes to Satsuki for his earlier disagreement about camping with her because he went to a similar event in his childhood. As for his relationship with Satsuki, Kanji saved Satsuki who was waiting for her friends to return from the toilet from two senior students but indirectly also bad-mounted Satsuki. Those two events should have already pushed the anger of Satsuki to her limit but instead she directed it towards her overdue friends returning from the toilet and defended Kanji. Moving on to Yamauchi. Haruki Yamauchi is a student of class 1D who is also known as one of the three idiots of D class. According to the interview who assessed him during the entrance exam, Haruki has a tendency to lie. Similar to his friends, Haruki has a perverted side who is attracted to Kikyu Kushida as he was willing and wanted to peep on the girls. He is also very attracted to Irish Sakura and Haruka Hasebe, mainly for their well endowed bodies and seemingly submissive natures. During the island test, while he was picking up branches, he told Kiyotaka that he was pursuing Ari because of Kikyo being out of his league and claimed that Ari would fall for him if he began behaving nicely. Despite his negative traits, he was, although rarely, able to act somewhat naturally as shown after being rejected in volume 4.5. In volume 10, Haruki was shown to be an extremely selfish and easily manipulated person as he easily got deceived by Arisu Sakayanage who ordered him to be a traitor within his class and promised to be his girlfriend in exchange. He further humiliated himself by lashing out against the class and even went as far as to physically attack them before he was apprehended. As for his role in the story, in volume 4.5 Haruki made a confession to Airi but was quickly rejected. Accepting her answer, he told Kiyotaka that he was just troubling her and learned that conveying one's feelings also carries a heavy responsibility. He also noted that his feelings for Ari were just shallow and he didn't really like her from the bottom of his heart due to the little reaction it got from him after being rejected. After that, Haruki claimed that he was graduating from this random love and will find a girl that he could really come to like. In volume 10, he got more than half of class support to vote against Kiyotaka in the special exam, the class poll, under instruction from Arisu Sakayanagi of class A in exchange for him getting her class praise votes. Where, unbeknownst to him, Sakayanagi gave her class praise votes to Kiyotaka instead so that she could excite her revenge on Haruki 
After the encounter in volume 8 where he had made her fall down on the floor and made a crude remark about her. His potential in himself actions also got exposed after getting the most combined amount of criticism words in the class without having the 20 million points needed to save himself. Haruki became the very first student of his class to receive explosion from the school. Even to the end he selfishly denied any of his wrongdoings and yelled that he was just being framed. He insulted his classmates and told them that Sakenagi would save him even after Horikita exposed him and had the entire class against him. After Sakenagi's betrayal he then tries to attack his classmates before being apprehended. After his relationship with Sakenagi. Their first encounter was during the mixed training camp special exam in volume 8 where Yamauchi was chatting with his friends and didn't notice Sakenagi calling out to him to look out which led to them colliding with one another. He offered to give Sakenagi a helping hand but she refused and told him there was no need for his concern. He soon left saying to his friends that Sakenagi was cute but clumsy. In volume 10 it was revealed that Arisu was not as forgiving as first thought and was the main reason behind his explosion. Turns out she held a grudge against him for making that snide and nude remark when they had collided. She masterfully controlled him by pretending that she was interested in him and took away all his pride by showing what type of person he truly was to his class. With this I covered everything that I wanted to cover on the three idiots of class D. And that will be all for this video. If you liked this video leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below or subscribe to the channel for more manga reviews and one piece content. And ultimately next time, take care.